Welcome to Parker Playhouse in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's go meet Coyote Peterson. Let's see the VIP part of the show. It's okay. It's okay. Right, three, right. One, two, three. Oh, Jeff, one, two. Oh, okay. Was that was that for me? Yeah, man. Oh, thank you, guys. How you doing? This is who I was talking about. Welcome, South Florida. We traveled a long way down to get to South Florida, which is my my hometown, actually. Mario, you guys know that? Florida. Yeah. Right, so what? This is just you and me right yeah. now. This is a super VIP hangout. Super VIP. Mark Mario. Hmm. That's, that's Although cool. we're missing someone, right? I can't think of anything. Uh, I know. Let's see if I'm gonna, I'm gonna text him. See if he's he around. Do you know who we're missing? He's Coyote. Coyote. Coyote Peterson. Uh, you know, <clears throat> he sometimes gets a little cold feet. Oh, <laughs> he likes to hang out behind the scenes in the shadows. And he gets, yeah. Oh, oh, don't scare. No, it's okay, little guy. You come up. You know, he needs a little encouragement, okay. I think. Yeah, to come out here. So let's do let's do that round of applause, man. But let's do it like twice as loud. Think we can pull that off? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's try it. All right, ready, Kyrie? You let us know if this is loud enough, all right? Oh, don't okay, scare me. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. It's VIP time. This is Pete? No, we know what this is. This is the VIP Coyote Pack. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're going to hang out. It's going to be pretty casual, right? We've got Mario, Mark, the M&M boys, right? Exactly. Yeah, right. 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 Nice. We're probably going to get called on for everything tonight. Yeah. I am impressed by all the shirts. You know, I mean, this is our this is our eighth date on the tour. Yes. And you, we're on you a date. That's awesome. Well, our date. Oh, like the... Not like what you and Mario do on Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, only when we're in his hometown. Right? <laughs> yeah. We go out, we catch lizards, iguanas, and stuff. And right? they take me for spaghetti dinner. Yeah, I don't like spaghetti. Mario! Oh, no. Oh, no, this is our, this I'm is our dreaming. official tour date. That is. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. We have gone from all the way up in New York, all the way down here to Fort Lauderdale. We are pretty excited to be here. So, right now we're going to do an exclusive question and answer session. How's that sound? Right. Yeah. Who's got some questions? You guys have some questions for us? Oh, yeah, that's okay. good. That's good. Yeah, because it's it's important for us to, to get to know you guys. So, okay. you're going to ask us questions, you're going to get some behind the scenes. Glimpses into uh, to what we do. Maybe you know? some top secret information. Maybe some top secret. Maybe stuff that we've never shared with yeah. anybody else ever. Yeah. yeah. All right. This guy's got a question right here. Yeah. All right. Oh, so let's see. We've got let's, answers. I see okay. hands up again. Who all has a question? Okay. You know, I think we got time for about eight questions because what's really cool right. about this super special, super pack hangout is everyone here is going to have the opportunity to take a photograph with. Mario! Hi. Yay! Oh. Well, Coyote, yeah. no, no. Everyone's going to have an opportunity to get a picture with Coyote Peterson. No, 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 no. no. Sure. It's I get the opportunity to get a picture with them. Oh, that's yes. Right. Oh, that's right. We've yeah. got the greatest photographer in the world here with us tonight. Don't tell him. Wait, wait, wait. Not quite yet. That's a surprise. That's a big surprise. But to make sure we can do that, we only have time for, let's do like eight questions. And the way we've been doing this is we've been dividing the group in half. Mario. Where's the chainsaw? I can cut these seats. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're in the middle, though. I, I think I saw there's some equipment out back. There. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's a chipper or something. Yeah, there was a front end loader. There were yeah. trees. But let's pick four from this side. I'll pick four from this side. Okay. We're going to have microphones set up on each yeah. side of the stage. Okay. If you can make your way to the microphone on your side um, okay. and line up. And Do you want to take go? questions one at a time? Yeah, Who's got a question? 
Hmm. Let me uh, let me bring this mic over here. Good, Good idea. How about you? Who would take it? first up. Watch right here. Right here. Right here. Call me. Call me. Okay. Hi, Coyote. What's up? I got your book. I pre-ordered it, like you said. Nice. We should wait till we're ready. <laughs> Alright, who else you got? You how about you? Right there. Okay. And how you about, you about you the, the man in the hat right up? there? Give me and some money. How you doing, buddy? Mm, how wow. about you? Oh, I just didn't go right there anymore. Good job. Alright. Go to organization. This is a great question. I know more. That I have made the right choices over here. Mario, you got your four? Is this the right four? It's so hard. This is the right four, I can tell. Here's the thing. I can see it in your eyes. I've got one more to choose, but if you don't have a chance to ask us questions right now, or ask a question during this session, later on, Mark and I are going to be walking around just to ask us questions too, okay? And when you guys are getting a picture, you can also ask questions. I like that. your shirt. Everybody's sure. question will be Anyone else there, buddy? Stand there. Excellent. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, yesterday, Mario. Yep. I'm waiting for you here, buddy. Oh, well, I want these guys to be visible so they can come up to Oh, I was going to climb over the railing and hang upside down like a sloth. Ooh. So that I could see them closely. Now, do you have your lucky ready? coin? I do. Mario has a lucky coin, in case you guys didn't know. And I'll give you one guess as to what's on that lucky coin. Shout it out. It's Mario. Is it the Golden yeah. Adventure You're chicken? You're guessing. It's me, Mario. Gosh. Okay. Okay, here we go. Right here, you're going to pick heads or tails, okay? Ready? And if it's heads, the side's going to start. If it's tails, the side's going to start. Okay, ready? And call it here. Oh, oh, tails. Tails. All right. <clears throat> you start over here. Good you go. All right, okay. buddy. So what we want you to do is uh, state your name, and then your question, and then your favorite food group, color, <laughs> book, <laughs> what school you go to, and what you want to be when you grow up. Got and it? your phone number. We, we're going to need your phone number. Hey. <laughs> just kidding. Just, just, just your name and your question. Is good. <laughs> good, bud. Um, my name is Max. And what was your favorite animal you ever adventured with? Favorite animal we ever adventured with? Are those dinosaurs on your shirt? Yeah. That's a super cool shirt. How about this? Because we're going to answer that question tonight as part of the show, we will save that until later. But because I'm asking you to save that question for later, which we'll answer for everybody, what if you ask a different question? <laughs> <laughs> Which on the spot I know. How many um, adventures with animals have you ever had? Oh, that's a great question. How many adventures with animals have we ever had? Well, Mark, how many episodes do we have on the channel at this point? Uh, as of yesterday, 316 videos. On Including the new spider one. So that is lots of weeks. But that's not just 316 animals because some of these episodes have multiple animals. Right. So, right. you know, I don't actually know the, the answer to that. To how I, we know the number of episodes, but we don't know how many animals have been in all of those episodes. What about the ones where you missed the animal? Does that count? that I didn't catch the animal. Those episodes don't ever make it onto the channel. There have been a few, trust me. So I don't have the exact number, but I'm going to guess it is probably around 550 animals. Wow. Crazy, right? Right. Great question. Lots of animals. Good question. Thank you. All right, coming up here, what is your name? Yeah, you're good. My name is Lucia, and have you ever thought about making your own action figure? Ooh, <laughs> man, my own action figure. If I had an action figure, would you get the action figure? Who else would get an action figure? Yeah. Me. I think that may be in the works already for uh, not this Christmas, but the following <laughs> Christmas. This Christmas, though, we have a ton of amazing Brave Wilderness merchandise that will be available for everybody. We've really yeah. been taking our time to make sure that the merchandise is exactly what we want so that hopefully it's something exactly that you want. So, to answer your question precisely, yes, there <clears> will be a Coyote Peach in action figure, but it's about a year away. We are already in the early design stages of what it will be. It's got to have all the cool knickknacks, right? Like, you know, the pack needs to come off. You need to be able to use all the little, like, I just to go with it. It's accessories. When I was a little kid and I played with action figures, I played with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Jurassic Park toys. And I had to have all little bits and pieces to go with it. So it's still good. Kind of, like, yeah. Stop. Don't yeah. do it. Will, it, will it have one of those like drawstrings where you pull it? So and it so says things like, ah! Oh, 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 this pack is going to be like, ready? We're going to pack something. Ah! Bullets number one! Yeah. Or, or, here, you pull 
the strength you try. Oh, I don't want any more spam, Mark! Not cool! <laughs> Or maybe we'll have puking action as well. Oh, like you guys can actually oh, push up food like and put it in and you can squeeze and blah, and it'll like puke up nutty fruits. The closest thing though we have to some action figures is one of our fans who give us some little Legos. Yeah. That kind of look like us. Yeah, we have like the little Lego it's version cool. of us. Yeah. Great question. Okay, come over here. Are you gonna do any videos with a lemur? With a lemur? <clears throat> well, uh, does anyone know where lemurs are found? What part of the world? Madagascar. Ooh, bingo. Alright, well, if we're gonna do lemurs, that means we're gonna go to Madagascar. So, I'm gonna put that on the list. And I'm gonna do you guys wanna see us go to Madagascar? Yeah. Oh, yes! Okay. It is definitely on our list of places to potentially visit. Possibly. I've been there before. Yeah. It is on the list. Do you like lemurs? Any specific species of lemur? There's ringtails, right? There's, There's cuddle lemurs. Brown. What? Cuddle lemurs. Cuddle lemurs. The ones that like to cuddle? Yeah. Or they all like to cuddle. There's a little pygmy lemurs. All types of cool ones. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that a unicorn lemur? There's <laughs> <laughs> no know, unicorn lemur. That one's really rare to find that one. If we do, though, we'll let you know, okay? Just make an episode. Good question. Okay, what's your question? My name is uh, Lewis, and uh, my question is Have you ever been to camp? Lewis, have I ever been camping? As a matter of fact, we're pretty much camping right now in the back of the tour bus, or at least it feels yeah. like that. Our bunks are tiny. You guys want to come out there and see the bus right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting a, well, I'm getting a, a stare down. That <laughs> no, we're not allowed to bring you guys on the tour bus, but it is kind of like camping because we have these tiny little bunks with these like little curtains and you like cocoon in at night. Uh, so it does feel like camping, but to answer your question exactly, yes, I have been camping quite a bit. When I was a little kid, I used to camp in the backyard all the time. And as I got a little bit older, my mom let me go camping with my friends further back in the woods. And then once I was old enough to drive myself, my friends and I would travel around and go camping. Uh, so. Have you ever camped? Where do you camp? All around the state? Everglades, Big Cypress, any of those places? Yeah. Cool. That's where I go. You don't sleep in the Everglades in the water. You go camping in the Everglades. Like sleep on a little float? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the rules because my man here in the shirt's been holding his hand up very politely for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I think we have to answer this question. What's your question, buddy? Oh. I Dude. love turtles! I like turtles. <laughs> say it say with me, all turtles. We have a gopher tortoise that lives burrows in our front yard. Oh, nice. We don't know how to tell if it's a boy or a girl. Hmm. Well, there are a couple different ways to tell with turtles and tortoises. All tortoises technically are turtles at the end of the day. Um, with a gopher tortoise specifically, I do believe the tail size does play a little bit of a difference. Males usually have slightly longer tails than females, but all tortoises have pretty teeny tiny tails. Other than that, the plastron, which is the bottom of the shell, if the bottom of the shell is concave, it is usually male, and if it's convex, which means it rounds out, then it is likely a female. Or if it lays eggs, then it's likely people. <laughs> <laughs> it just poops in the garage. Well, pretty unique animal to have around here. And it has some pretty stinky poop because I was pooped on one actually <coughs> here in, in Florida. That's true. Pooped yeah. all over my leg. It was a turd like this big. It was super <laughs> Good question. Okay, I think we were back over here, right? Mario, did you get an extra? Uh, no, I have my four. Yeah, I think it's, it's my turn. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Okay, coming up. Hi. There you go. Oh, right there. Tuck in the mic. You made that mic. Yeah, I'm just about your size. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> What's your it's question? Okay. It's okay. What kind of lizard do you like? Ooh, what, what type kind of lizard do you like? I like? Oh, good okay. question. Mm. Well, I like many lizards. So why don't I talk about a lizard that you guys have here in Florida that I like that I actually tried to climb up a tree and catch today. Anybody remember the time that I climbed up a coconut? Yeah. What did I find up there? Iguana, iguana. Not just any iguana. The iguana. Wilson! Oh, right? The one. Wilson the green iguana. Did you see that episode? Yes, well, yes. Well, I saw an enormous iguana this morning climb up a tree, and it was a palm tree, but it had all these weird spiky things on it. I've never seen a 
palm tree like that before with all the spikes. Because you're from Ohio. Huh? You're from Ohio. Yeah, I'm from Ohio. And I ran up and I grabbed the tree and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get you. And I was like, ah! Oh! All these things were stuck in my hand, so I couldn't actually catch the day. So, well, I was just so excited. I literally got on the bus and our bus driver was like, there's a huge block. I just went up with that tree. I'm like, here we go. I still, I wasn't even dressed. I was in pajamas. Uh, so the iguana, I think, is my favorite lizard to find here in Florida, but my favorite lizard of all time is the regal horn lizard. I knew it. That's how he got his name, Co Coyote. What, what, uh, what's your favorite lizard? The green, green gecko. Oh, cool. Cool. The day, like the day gecko, like the one from the Geico commercials. <laughs> that guy <laughs> helps save you on your insurance 15% in 15 minutes or less. You know that? You don't drive yet though, do you? You can get insurance on your bicycle too. We got yeah, lots, of, we got lots of lizards in Florida. Alright, good question. I love yeah. lizards too. Okay, come Thank back you over here. patiently. Uh -huh. You have a cool hat. Thank you. What's your question? Oh, that's the worst thing. That's the worst. Ooh, but is it the worst? <laughs> it well, is the worst. Something recently where it, you know, the <laughs> no, 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 And the lions, but, 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 the lions have to kill all the yeah, yeah. yeah. I know it's your hometown. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just talk about the bullion. Let's okay. talk about the bullion for a second. Right. This is VIP. You can bring the bullion into this. The bullion was pretty bad. Pretty bad. As far as I was concerned, as of last December, it was the worst thing in the world. And on a scale of one to four, which is what the insect pain sting pain index is ranked on, the bullying is a four. So if you're going on one to ten, I would say it's supposed to be like a ten. And at the time, I thought yeah, it's about a ten, but maybe, just maybe, we'll talk about some other. No, no, no. See how loud you guys get, okay? Sound good? <laughs> I don't get hurt, no. Well, you never know. This is a live show. Anything can happen. I know you Hi, do. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Eli, and what was the smallest lizard you ever caught? Smallest lizard I ever caught? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> What's the smallest lizard you ever caught? Um, I've caught lots of baby, like green anoles and brown anoles, those little ones that run around mm -hmm. everyone's yards here. You guys catch those a lot? I once actually, yeah. when I was younger, a couple years ago, I found an egg of an anole, right? A little white egg. So I put it in my hand and then I ran inside to show my mom. When I opened it, it hatched out, actually. You know, really? It's oh. a little anole. Yeah. It's almost made up to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about you? It's a small soldier you've ever caught. Uh, yeah, when we were in Hawaii, oh. there was a gecko in my room. Yeah. I named it Micro. Yeah, it barely fit on the tip of my finger. I think you posted a photo of it on Instagram. I did. That was a hatchling for sure. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. really cool. Yeah, my, it's, on, it's on Instagram right now. Yeah. My, my smallest has also definitely been a baby gecko. For some reason, we do come across many baby geckos in there. Itty bitty and super cute. Good question. All right, come back over here. My name is Natalia, and what is the worst bite or sting you've ever experienced? It's a bullet dance, a bullet dance. I know it. Alright, so I got down the ground and I'm like, well, hold on, this is the grizzly bear attack video where we show you what to do if like, you're attacked by a brown bear. It's one of our earlier videos, and this part didn't yeah. quite make the cut. This didn't make the cut, but I think it's been long enough. I think we can tell you guys. Yeah, we can Just tell these guys. Don't worry. Okay. So, what's happening right now? You're, you're so, camera. right now, I'm down on the ground trying to protect my neck and my head from a bear attack. And I'm right? about like this. Yeah. Are you the bear? I'm the bear. Oh, you're the bear. Hey, I'm a bear. And you're filming. And the trainers the bear. Oh my gosh, it's a lot closer. And, take your hat. and my hat. Ooh. And then the guys are throwing the marshmallows. I smell Mentos. Ah! He bit me! He bit me! No, he didn't bite you. He spent light! Yeah, I got bit by the grizzly bear. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And why did you get bit? Well, it's not because I am delicious and filled with soft, chewy nougat. <laughs> it's because earlier that day, my back was sore. So you guys ever put like that, that muscle relaxer cream icy on your hot. back? It was like icy hot? Yeah. Well, they told us you're not allowed to have any food in your pockets, no gum, no nothing. Nobody said anything about icy hot. And I smelled like a peppermint patty. And that big old bear said to himself, this is just a, a human-sized treat. You pick a big chump out of my back. Yeah, what you say again? It was like, <laughs> I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty funny, they didn't believe me, but sure enough, I had four huge canine marks on my back. It didn't actually break skin because I jumped up so fast, but just the power in that bite force 
broke all the blood vessels and four spots on my back. It was pretty crazy. We never showed that in the episode because obviously we didn't want anybody to think that Adam was being aggressive. He certainly was not. It was completely my fault. But uh, yeah, lesson learned. Do not put Icy Hot on your back if you're going to work with a grizzly bear. Yes. You guys can all remember that, right? Yes. All right. Cool. So, grizzly bear. Sea snake, danger noodle, yeah. danger noodle. Yeah. and several others that we'll probably talk tonight are all very dangerous, so we'll talk more about that at that point. But thank you for such a great question. Good thank job. Give a round of applause for everybody. Yay! We're going to hang out after the photographs so and you can ask more questions. I know lots of you guys still have more questions. Coyote. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance to take a photograph yes. of the Coyote and what we're going to I do. I want to take get the chance to take photographs of them. Yeah. Same. It's great. Right. One and Making it really complicated. Well, I just want to make <laughs> sure, okay. right? Okay, buddy. Why don't you go back to the time for the introduction? Not yet, not yet. So, what we want to do one row at a time, everyone will get the opportunity. If you want to come up these stairs right here on your right, you'll walk to about, yeah. You're going to hand your photographic device, it could be a cell phone camera, what have you, to somebody very special. What, wait, wait. It's my favorite someone part of the show. Someone very special will be here. And then once you get your photograph of Coyote, high five, all that good stuff, you're gonna come down this way. Mario and I will be hanging out over here to take photographs, sign autographs, answer questions, high five, all that good stuff. Yeah. But now, without further ado, Joe, you ready? Okay, go ahead. Kevin. Are you guys ready to meet the greatest Instagram photographer in the world? How about you, Tiny Tiger? If you are, Joe hit that music for the one, the only Will Guess! Come on! Oh. uncanny and he will definitely make sure that he gets the best photograph of you and me that has ever been taken. Sound good? So if you guys are ready, let's take some pictures. All right, so first row. Directions. Now let's see the main part of the show. I think we lost her. This is not how the show is supposed to start. I think we lost her for good. Oh boy. Hey, honey! Freeze! What? She's on your back. Hold on, hold on. Matilda's on your back. Let me get my camera. She's right there by your arm. Okay, right here. Mark, let's get a good shot. Oh boy. Here, here, here. Hold still. Hold still. Back the whole time? I don't know how she appeared, but she's oh, on your back. I see her. Oh. Okay. Good thing is she's not face towards my face, though. That's okay. good news, right? Let, let me just. My flash, right? Hang on, hang on. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 easy. No. Easy. Oh, no. Don't move. Oh, don't watch move. out. Did you, are you getting that? Oh, yeah. That's a good Can shot. Uh, Get the shot from here too! You're getting shots there too. Don't work, coyote! Oh, hey, Mario, oh. this? No sort of Let's see if you can get her to kind of go down my arm a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna coax her down, okay? Mark, ready? you got a good shot? Oh yeah, that is a Ooh. big spider. Oh, boy. Matilda. Okay, gently. Go down. Okay. 
Just a little bit better. Okay. 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 Perfect. Safer. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a pig tarantula. The pig toe tarantula, which does have a pretty powerful bite with those big fangs, but the venom is no more potent than that. Oh, 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 she's on my knee. I'm gonna put this camera right. down. Hey, Mario, go get the enclosure. Yeah. Get the enclosure. Get okay. the enclosure. Make sure she doesn't jump into the audience like okay. last time. I'm gonna try to get her back up on my hand. Okay. Maybe I can just kind of set her on somebody in the front row here. What do you think? Somebody wanna just, uh, <laughs> probably a little dangerous, right? Mario, the enclosure, please. Coming, coming. All right, yeah, good shot. All right. Let's see the audience. Very gently. Ready? Get her in here with the other spider. One, two, okay. three. Nice! Woo! All right! Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Matilda is secure. All right, everybody, I think it feels okay. So, Matilda and Maria are both in there. Uh, Maria? Wait a minute. There were two? Yeah, there were two. Okay, well, Maria's Maria. definitely not in here. No. But, you know, we gotta, we gotta continue gotta with the show. Here. Yeah. Why don't we find her later? Yeah, uh, you guys are probably, you're not afraid of spiders, are you? Nope. That's great, then we can just have a spider run around out there in the audience for any reason you feel something on your leg throughout the show. Don't panic, because I would just say, Mario, this is your hometown. Just run out there and catch it, right? right? Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Maria oh, would be hold on a second, guys. Hey, Joe, can we bring the house lights up real quick? Let's bring those house lights up. Wow. Oh, Look wow. at all these Coyote Pack members for Ronda! Yeah. Woo! Now I see you. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Okay! Look at that. How about a big round of applause for Matilda? Woo! Yeah. And a big round of applause for Maria, who's out there somewhere. Woo! Hiding. Woo! And a big round of applause for Mario! Even though he's out there. Even though you were supposed to be watching the spiders, yeah. what were you doing? Well, you know, I was just getting ready for the show. I was actually reading the book. Oh, well that's okay. I was reading, reading the, the Brave book, Adventure okay. book. Yeah, sorry. Okay. It's riveting. And of course, the fearless director of the Brave Wilderness Channel, Mark Livens. Always getting those shots. Great shot. You got those shots, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Now, uh, does anybody out there know what my favorite animal is? God, just shout it out. Whoa, I heard something way too early in the show. You know, the, 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 the whoa, 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 you're going to give it away. The they, I heard it. I heard that. Okay, but that's not it. Dismiss it. Later. Just, I'm going to ignore that. Ignore it. Ignore, yeah. Ignore it. All right, yeah, you know, you know what I did here? Unicorn. They said your favorite animal is a unicorn, right? Whoa. Who said unicorn? Yeah, I thought I heard that. You said unicorn. That is my favorite ammo. Guess what? If you guys are all super excited tonight, we get really loud, we're gonna show you some never before seen footage of me catching a unicorn. How's that sound? Yeah! <laughs> okay, Mark, we've got that clip, right? Uh, oh. We didn't bring it this time. What? Oops. You didn't bring the unicorn footage? Okay, well, while the unicorn may be my favorite animal, what is my other favorite animal? Let me hear that. The Rico Horn Lizard. I heard it. I heard it. The Rico Horn Lizard. <laughs> the Horn Lizard, the Lizard. Who out there said the common snapping turtle? I heard it from like right in here. You said it right there? The common snapping turtle is Coyote Peterson's favorite animal in the world. And if you guys have started reading the Brave Adventures book, you will find that the first chapter is called The Dragon. And it begins when Coyote is all of eight years old. Other than eating ice cream, other than catching unicorns, other than catching turtles. I am really, really good at standing on a kayak while I row. Now many people row a kayak like this, right? Do, 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 nice afternoon. I like to stand. You know why I like to stand? Because when I stand, I can see turtles moving through the water. Now, when Mark and I started going out filming for the channel, we went out this one night to film B-roll. You guys know what B-roll is? Yes. yes! Well, for those of you who don't know what B-roll is, B-roll are those really cool epic shots of like the sun coming through the trees or the wind blowing through the grasses. Adds sort of a cinematic feel to our episodes. And Mark said, tonight 
we're going out to get B-roll. And I said, I can get that B-roll for you, Mark. And I'll get on that kayak and I'll give you the best rowing shots you've ever seen. And he said, no matter what, do not jump from that kayak and catch turtles. I don't care if you see a turtle. Don't do what? Don't get wet. Don't get wet. We had to get photographs after this. We needed those for marketing purposes. So I said, okay, I can follow the director's instructions. I won't jump in the water. So here we are, it's beautiful, it's sunset, the sun, the wind through the grasses, Mark's getting a good shot, I'm rowing, and those lily pads are moving. I can keep telling you guys about this, but we might have a video clip, right? Do you guys want to see a video clip? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now there are some rules about video clips, okay? Throughout the show tonight, I get so excited about these clips, I may come down into the audience and watch them with you, but if I do, you have to promise to stay in your seats, okay? okay. And you can have your cameras out, and I will take pictures while we're watching. Make sure you have them ready, have that flash good to go. And if you guys are ready, who wants to see what happened when I did not listen to Mark when we were getting B-roll? Now what's really cool about this chapter is that this is where we get to introduce Mario, our amazing wildlife biologist who is here from Southern Florida. Big round of applause for Mario. <laughs> so Mark calls up Mario and he's like, hey man, you got any, anything we go out there and catch? And what did you say? I said, yeah, we got these little lizards that swim through the water, yeah. alligators. Yeah. Alligators, right? I say, okay, I catch an alligator like, like about this big, right? No. Mark, what'd you say? I'm gonna something a little bigger. A little, oh, okay. That's cool. Like, yeah, that seems kind of small. Maybe like four feet. That's pretty good, right? Mm, no, no. <laughs> Ten? That's more like it. Okay. Who yeah. said that? Did you say that? Who said 10 feet? Who said that? You said that? Okay. Very brave. You know what? Fine. Fair enough. You know what? I catch a 10-foot alligator. How about a 10-foot, 300-pound alligator? So Mario gets us special permission to go into some private land in the Everglades. And should we see what happens? Yeah. You guys want to see a clip? I've got the clip. Do we have a clip? I've got it. Mark's got the You sure? Because you didn't have the unicorn clip. I think I got it. Okay, let's see if Mark actually has this clip. If it's the unicorn, I caught that too. Just, just hold on just a second. All right, roll that clip. Those are the scars from the bite of the giant desert centipede. Do you guys want to see it? Don't there see it on the board! Is that see that? There we go. There we go. Whoa. Okay, it's tough to see some of the scars right there. It's actually starting to heal up a little bit better than it was at the beginning of the tour. That's about four weeks ago. Actually, what's today? Is today Saturday? It's four weeks ago tomorrow that I was bitten. Everybody always wants to know, have you ever taken a bite that was so bad it sent you to the hospital? This is the only bite I've ever taken that I had to go to the hospital for. It is giant desert You guys have centipedes. centipedes here in Florida, right? Yeah. Not the giant desert centipedes, just kind of like the bigger, like meow big, right? Yeah. Even a centipede of that size can give you a very potent bite. Their venom is incredibly toxic. And if you ever travel to the Southwest, you see one of these giant desert centipedes, take my word for it, it is the worst bite you can ever take. It was that bad, guys. So if you see one of these, admire from a safe distance. Now, I'm afraid of centipedes, but a lot of people are afraid of what? What has eight legs? Spiders! And the fear of spiders is called what? <laughs> ah! You didn't tell me to put the illustration up! That's a great video. Even that scares me, though. Guys, you gotta give me a warning when you're gonna do that. I would jump the lights back down, because if we keep it dark, then, you know, the tarantula is still running around out there, might come out. But, you guys do have one spider species here in Florida that is extremely dangerous. Does anybody know what that is? The Black Widow! The Black Widow. One of the most venomous spider species in the United States. Now recently, I flee handled one of these spiders to help us overcome our fear of arachnids because I want people to not be afraid of spiders, I want them to love spiders. And I don't want people to just think the spiders are out there to bite you. Would you guys like to see some footage of that? Yeah! Are you sure? Yeah! Okay. Mark, should we roll footage on the Black Widow? Turf. I love practice. 
testing it because we find so many animals are potentially toxic and then I get to get right down the team. Now you notice the aposematic coloration. Sometimes I practice it in the mirror, I'm like, aposematic coloration. Aposematic coloration. Aposematic coloration. Mark will walk in and be like, what are you doing? I'll be like, practicing my lines so I get them right. These are great. Whoa, what are you guys eating? Non-toxic jelly beans. Non-toxic? Give me some jelly beans. Oh, oh, is this the part? oh, this is the part of the show. Okay, guys, ready? We're going to make it rain jelly beans. Watch this. Uh -oh. And go! It's not going to work. Hold on, technical difficulty. What happened? Mario and I ate them all. You so ate I all the jelly beans? That's all that's left? That's all that's left. But these are safe. You want one? Yeah, I kind of do. Who wants a jelly bean? Wait, but that's... Here. Yeah. You, 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 that's spam flavor. You, you want to go pass them out? Yeah, put it on your other Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh. And he calls action, and I'm digging through it. There's fish bones and berries. And we'll smell it. We want to know what it smells like. So it's actually not that bad. It kind of smells like old berry pie with a little bit of fish mixed in it. That's yeah. the flavor. That like could be a flavor for the jelly beans, right? <laughs> so I'm and my hands covered in bear poop, and I just did this gross thing where I squeezed it all over the place. I'm like, oh man, what a scene. We got done filming. I was like, this is definitely going to make the episode. And as soon as we get into post-production, our editor, Chris, cuts the thing together, and I watch it, and I got my popcorn, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait for the poop scene. Guess what didn't make it into the episode? <laughs> the poop scene. But, I know a lot of people have requested a new pooper reel, so maybe we will re-release that scene, and it will see the light of day, and then you guys can all see, see me dig through poop. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Wow! That is a huge wolf spider! Mark, look at this thing! I mean, it was massive, and what did you say? I said, it's big, but put your hand next to it for scale. Yeah, for scale, because a good director always has something in the frame for scale. So I put it in my hand, and then the spider's like this. And I'm like, okay, I'll get a little bit closer. He's like, yeah, yeah, good shot, good shot. Yeah, slim to none. You know, people set up these awesome. camera traps out there, like, you know, little cameras, you put it on a tree, wait for something to walk by and get pictures. It's like, oh, you always get those pictures of Bigfoot, right? Yeah. And how many of those have you got? But you're getting close. I'm trying. Getting close. I have faith in you. You're going to get that shot one of these days. The ocelot is something that we never expected to encounter. When this happened, we didn't even know what to do. Mark was just like, speak. You speak. I'm like, Yee! spots and claws. And what you guys don't realize is that you guys have cats, right? Yeah. Do you have cats with front claws? Yeah. Are those claws sharp? Yeah. Yeah. You know how sharp the claws are of an ocelot? Like razor sharp. So I'm getting clawed here, clawed on my face, clawed on my neck. I had all these little puncture wounds in my neck from the teeth. The bears in there somewhere. Yeah, awesome. And the ocelot. Yeah. That's pretty much all anybody wants to talk about. Yeah, there's yeah. not much else to talk about, I guess. I don't think the audience really needs to know anything else, right? I don't think so. Well, I'll ask them. You guys want to know about anything else? Or? I do. I heard it. Oh, what'd they say? The people. Oh. Oh. Yeah, who said that? Who called that out? Oh, right there, Cody. No, oh, no, there's one right there. Okay, in all fairness, in all fairness, there is a picture of the bullet ant in the book and on the cover because when you're in the rainforest of Costa Rica, there are bullet ants. Yeah. But we were not gonna, you, we're not gonna talk about them. Like what? Like stings and Mario? Bites? No, we are not talking about stings tonight because the book is not about bites and stings. The book is about epic adventures. You guys want to talk about the bites and stings? Yeah. yeah. You know. I thought they might, and I, I put together a little highlight reel. Can I what? A what? It's, not, it's like a, a highlight reel, like the best things. A highlight reel? Why would you do this? I thought they might like it. Do you I, guys want to see a highlight reel of the things? Yeah. See? Okay, okay. Let's watch Mork's highlight reel. Here we go. I know you believe you have. And my mom says to me, Mark and Mario, because my mom lives in Arizona, guys, if you go out in the backyard today filming, just watch out for that harvester ant mound, because I got stung the other day and it gave me quite the wall. And I was like, <laughs> okay, mom, I'm sure you did. Yeah, you got stung by ant, I bet. And I'm like, you know, Mario, wildlife biologist from South Florida, look up this ant for me real quick. And tell me, hey, learn anything about the harvester ant? Ooh, interesting. They actually have one of the most potent venoms in the ant kingdom. In fact, the most potent sting of any insect in the insect kingdom. But the venom yield, so that's the amount of venom that goes into you with a sting, is much less than even that of a honeybee, right? So I say, okay, well, I want to find out what my mom is talking about. And 
you know, guys, listen to your moms is the moral of the story. But you know what Coyote didn't do? I didn't listen to my mom. And I said, Mark, go get the camera. We can film this, right? Sure. Let's film this. I'm going to set up a GoPro. There's a little harp tree in my mouth. There's a couple of them kind of walking around. And I say, okay, what do you think? I don't know, maybe like 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Okay. Then what did you say, Mario? I said, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You know what, guys? I'm just going to go ahead and make this a nice round minute because 60 seconds is a great way to count down, right? And the harvest ran out. Oh, that four kind of turned to eight, turned to like 20, turned to like, wow, there's like 60 of them now running up my arms, into my shirt, ants in my pants. Have you guys ever had ants in your pants? Yeah. Let me tell you what I didn't plan for. Harvester ants in my pants, and before I know it, I'm getting stung everywhere. And in total, took around 60 stings in 60 seconds. State your name and the question. I'm Madison Fonzia, and my question is, has any of the crew ever been accidentally stung or bit behind the scenes? Ooh, good question. question. How about, I will not answer that. And I will let the crew answer for themselves. I can remember a segment where I got stung. Oh yeah, yeah. Coyote got stung too. He got stung too. He looked like Mr. Potato Head after. That's because I got stung 30 times in the face. Yeah. You guys remember that segment? With the beer video. Beer video. Well, what you don't see is Mark and I are in that swarm of bees as well. And we've yeah. got the cameras to our face and we have to stand perfectly still to get bees. the shot. And of course, boom, right in my hand as I'm holding the camera, gets stung and uh, it hurt. I did not yeah. get stung in that video. You did not. Yes. <laughs> but Mark, what have you been stung by? Uh, a harvester ant stung me in the video. How many times? About. One time. And it left a welt about that big. That lasted three weeks. Yeah. So it's a good thing I wasn't you in that video. Because that would yeah. be pretty yeah. terrible. Mark does not react well to venom. <laughs> now, generally, when we're on location, yeah, we're behind the scenes getting stung and bit by mosquitoes, yeah. tons of insects. Yeah, you know those lights that we use for the night videos? Yeah. You know what they attract? Insects! Uh, lots of bugs. In particular, it's something called a night wasp. Oh, yeah. It comes out of nowhere, whap, right in the face. Right. Like you film great white sharks. Yeah. And Australia. And just so you guys know, we're not to that comment of be bitten by a great white shark. Well, kind of. Kind of. And not intentionally. I've got an idea. Don't worry. No, 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 no. No, unless it's like this big. <laughs> Maybe I'll bite my pinky. Okay, but what about the lions, Mario? Oh, you want lions? Well, guess what? We're going to South Africa in February, and we're going to film some lions. We're going to film some lions. And no, I'm also not going to be eaten by a lion. Another question or a whale. Can you step on a Lego? The Lego! Maybe I'll step on a Lego. I mean, Mini Mario on a Lego. Yeah, right? Hey, one of the fans it? give you this. All right. Who was it? Was it someone over there? Thank you. Maybe Claudia? All right. Very cool. Now, the Brave Wilderness Channel has brought us all together as a kind of pack, right? But the real reason that we're here tonight is for the Brave Adventures book. And this has been such an incredible journey for the three of us to be on. Not only with our adventures in the field, but also our adventures writing this book. Now, what you guys may not know is that ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a writer. I loved books. I spent every moment that I could when I wasn't in the swamps, in the library, reading books about animals. So for me, one of the greatest dreams ever to come true was being given the opportunity to write a book. Are you ever going to go to Asia and film tigers? I think eventually we will go to Asia and film tigers and king cobras and Asian elephants and pretty much anything in Asia. What's my role? I'm the wildlife biologist and second camera. And be brave, stay wild. Give okay, bye buddy! Boom! Chance, what part of the show do you do? So I work in the office as a producer and I kind of work on everything from high level developmental stuff down to answering a lot of the fan emails. And now I'm in charge of developing our merchandise. Be babe, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.
Goodbye, Parker Playhouse Coyote Prediction Show.